This may look like a picturesque lake, but it's in fact a flooded mine. Many of them may still have industrial value, but which ones precisely? This robot may soon be able to answer that question. Back in the 1960s, this pegmatite mine in central Finland was shut down and flooded. Today, it's a thrilling attraction for scuba divers brave enough to explore its flooded caverns. It's also a test site for this peculiar prototype developed by a European research project called UnXMin. We want to survey flooded mines because uh, mines seldomly are abandoned because the minerals are depleted, but they are uh, abandoned for economical reasons, so there might be still some minerals of value or there might be some new minerals which we might find. The result of an international team effort, this metallic sphere is stuffed with high-tech electronics. 60 centimeters in diameter, it's built to withstand pressure at 500 meters deep. It can spend much more time underwater than a human diver. It can survive for five hours at greater depths than those achievable by divers, because it doesn't need human life support systems, just electricity. This field study will show how well the robot operates in a natural environment. The short-term goal is to make it completely autonomous, capable of entering the mine, mapping it and returning on its own. This will take some additional testing and fine-tuning, but researchers expect full autonomy within the coming months. At this workshop, we can see how it is designed. The sonars, laser radars, cameras and other sensors help the robot understand its surrounding environment. These instruments are powered by heavy-duty batteries that move inside the sphere, shifting its centre of gravity as needed. Inside, we have a high-performance computer with dimensions which were impossible to obtain just a few years ago. We've developed these lasers and other systems ourselves, which allowed us to meet key criteria, including miniaturization. This technological centre in Portugal has a convenient testing facility. We were allowed to take a dive with the robot to see how it moves and uses its instruments underwater. Scientists use this five-metre-deep pool to work out the functions of the underwater vehicle under controlled conditions. Let's see how this happens. A robotic explorer can be of immense value to the mining industry and emergency services. Its developers are planning to use it commercially for a site evaluation service. And they're already getting calls. There's currently an environmental issue at a Ukrainian salt mine and they want us, as soon as we finish with the project, to go there and find out what's going on in their collapsing salt mines because it's too dangerous to send human divers down there. 